Stories recapped here. Today I'm going to show you a suspense thriller film called The Platform. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The Platform starts vaguely in a busy setting. You will see first a dynamic place where the food is being meticulously prepared. There is a busy older adult in a formal suit, somewhat an authority figure who roams around the place and checks if everything on the menu thoroughly like there's a vast food fest about to happen. You can see different kinds of meat, fish, fruit, wine, and dessert prepared. This place where they prepare all the food is Platform Zero. The people were hired to prepare the best quality food for Platform One and beyond. A bearded man wakes up in a concrete room where he sees an older man. This smug older man tells him they're on Platform 48, and it's the first day of the month. He explains they will eat whatever the leftovers were from levels 1 to 47. Trimagasi says obviously as his catchphrase every time he ends a sentence like Naruto saying Dadabayo. The younger man attempts to shake the older man's hand as a gesture. He introduces himself as Gore. The older man responds, requesting to get back to his spot. The smug older man assumes his roommate will not last long since he is too friendly. Then he introduces himself as Trimagasi. After one month, the roommates get shuffled to another platform. When it's time to eat, a platform full of leftover food descends. Trimagasi is surprised that there's wine still left with the bottle. Goring skips eating because of disgust. He sees a clean looking apple and keeps it for later. When it's time for the platform to descend, Trimagasi empties the wine, spits what's left in his mouth, and throws the bottle below. After the platform lowers, the room starts to heat up and fry everything inside. Trimagasi, being the veteran, tells him it's the apple Goreng keeps, which heats or cools the room if anyone tries to keep the food. He drops the apple. Goreng entered the hole because he wanted to quit his smoking habit and get the chance to read Don Quixote. On the second day, Trimagasi does the usual and eats the leftovers. Trimagasi explains that he accidentally killed someone outside because he threw his television out of frustration after buying a self-sharpening knife called Samurai Max. The authorities gave him two options. It is either they will take him to the nut house or the hole. Where he obviously is currently located. Goreng asks how deep is the hole. Trimagasi says he was deep in 132, but there were more floors than he could see below. Goreng shows what he brought with him as he enters the hole. A copy of Don Quixote. Trimagasi then reveals what he brought in the hole. A Samurai Plus, which Goreng joked about earlier. The next day, Trimagasi is usually shown feasting on food. Goreng decides to join him. Another day passes, Trimagasi brags about how the Samurai Plus gets sharper while Goreng stretches his body as he is reading the book. As they talked, a person from a higher platform falls and bumps near the edge where Goreng stands. The corpse continuously falls down the platform. Goreng gets his face splattered with blood. Due to shock, Goreng accuses Trimagasi of eating his roommate when he was 132 for survival. While they are fighting, the platform descends with a lady sitting in the middle of it. Trimagasi calls the woman who descended from the platform Miharu. Trimagasi says that Miharu kills her roommates at the end of the month. She does this so she can look for her son below the platform. Trimagasi hints that the man who fell might be Miharu's victim. Trimagasi also explained that at platform 132, he and his roommate ate a corpse who fell on them for survival. His roommate then got out of the hole with an accreditation. Miharu then gets harassed by people on platform 49. After a few seconds, they hear a couple of men screaming. Miharu gets back on the platform and descends. Goreng reads the book to Trimagasi. They get along until it is the last day of the month. Trimagasi prayed that they get to a higher level because he's grown fond of Goreng and his kindness. They both doze off because of the sleeping gas. In his second month, Goreng wakes up tied up to his bed. With Trimagasi welcoming him with his Samurai Plus. He and Trimagasi happen to be in a lower level in Platform 171, where it is likely to have no food at all. Trimagasi promises that he will not eat Goreng after 7 days until he gets hungry. On the 8th day, he caves into his hunger and starts cutting Goreng's leg. Trimagasi starts calling Goreng his little snail. Miharu attacks her and frees Goreng. Goreng kills Trimagasi, and they feed on some of his flesh. Miharu nurses Goreng and gets back down on the platform to look for her son. Goreng eats Trimagasi's rotten flesh for survival for the whole month. On the night before Goreng's transfer, as the gas spreads in the room, Trimagasi haunts him telling him that they are the same. There's also Goreng's fever dream of making love to Miharu. In the third month, Goreng recognizes a familiar face. He wakes up with Inogiri and her dog Ramesses II. 
She is an administration official who interviewed him before entering the hole they are in level 33. Inogiri is firm in balancing the platform's equilibrium and sees to feed all 200 floors equally, which Goring disagrees with seeing what he experienced in platform 171. First, she tries to balance her food with her dog by eating in turns each day. He also persuades people below her to do the same. However, no one listens to her until Goring threatens everyone to fill other people's food with his feces. Everyone listened to him after that. Further tensions rose when Miharu arrives on platform 33. Unconscious, all bruised up and wounded. They panic so much on lifting Miharu through a bed that they neglect Ramesses II. Goring suddenly notices the sudden drop in room temperature and sees Ramesses II biting a strip of meat which Goring quickly snatches Ramesses II, and he throws back the meat strip under the hole. When she regained her consciousness, she attempted to eat Ramesses II, leaving blood and guts on the floor. After seeing this, Miharu goes to the platform, and Inogiri reveals that she has terminal cancer. Inogiri then clarifies that there are 200 floors in total and that the administration would not allow children to join the program, negating Miharu's cause in the search for her son. She accuses Miharu of being a delusional aspiring actress who wanted to be an Asian Marilyn Monroe. In the fourth month, Goring wakes up at level 202. He discovers that Inogiri has hanged herself. Now he gets forced to eat Inogiri with Trimagasi and Inogiri insulting him, but he forcefully controls himself, even eating his book pages. At the end of the month, his hallucinations worsen as Trimagasi persuades him to eat Inogiri. In the fifth month, he wakes up with another roommate named Baharat on platform 6. Baharat attempts to climb upwards, but Goreng convinces him to move downwards instead. They team up to persuade everyone to get rations equally. They start to distribute food from platform 50 below. Those who relent them, they treat violently. A wise inmate named Senior Brambang advises them to leave an untouched panakata as a message to the administration. As they descend further, they see Miharu getting stabbed multiple stabs in a fight. They help her, but it's too late. She's gone. In the confrontation, Goreng gets bloodied up, and Baharat suffers a fatal stab wound. Before they reach platform 250 and beyond, they saw many atrocities of humans way beyond their expectations. As Goreng and Baharat reach for platform 333, they notice how the platform has completely stopped. However, as they both step off, it lowered down once again. Then they notice that they had not been fried nor frozen for bringing the panakata with them. They see Miharu's lost son, which turns out to be a daughter. Miharu doesn't speak the whole movie, so there wasn't any hint on the child's identity. Goreng and Baharat gave the panakata to the girl presuming she is hungry and hasn't eaten anything for days. During the nighttime, he gets another hallucination from Trimagasi. They were tempting him to eat Baharat or the girl. What makes his hallucination worse is even Inogiri and Miharu appeared with Trimagasi to tempt Goreng. Goreng wakes up seeing Baharat bathing in his blood. Goreng goes down to the bottom, a vacuous space with only the light from the uppermost rooms can provide limited visibility. Trimagasi welcomes the bruised and wounded Goreng below the dark space beyond the platform. They end up realizing that there's no need for Goreng to aid the girl when it gets back up top to be the message. Goreng joins Trimagasi on the bottommost floor. Goreng demands from Trimagasi not to be called Little Snail again, with Trimagasi replying not to use his word ever also. Goreng ends his journey leaving the girl on top of the platform as the message to the administration. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.